Hello, and in this video, we'll look into uploading the code to Particle Core and Particle Photon. I just want to make it uh, clear that Particle was formerly known as Spark, so if I say Spark Core or Spark Photon, that actually means Particle Core or Particle Photon. I also want to make it clear that Particle Core and Particle Photon are two different microcontrollers. Uh, and their pin configurations are different so they don't follow the exact same pin configuration so if there is a circuit diagram for particle core it is not it will not be the exact same diagram for particle photon because their pins are slightly interchanged uh, also particle photon is the newer version and much cheaper so I'll recommend that you should go with particle photon instead of particle core uh, particle photon is also faster so what will be in this video so in this video I'll just point you to the resources on how to get started with particle core or photon if you have never done it and for that I'll take you to the website which is docs.particle.io and uh, that will point you to the resources to get started and get uh, get the particle photon or particle core connected to the cloud API and uh, after that we'll use our code and we'll try to flash that code onto the microcontroller so that's pretty much the content of this video so let's get started mm, so to begin with uh, we'll go to this link uh, docs.particle.io and uh, so here depending on which microcontroller you have either the photon or core uh, you can have all the tips for getting started so the steps are simple power the photon you have to install the app and here are the links for the iPhone app and the Android app and uh, here the step third is basically connecting to the cloud uh, and you have to have your uh, particle core or photon breathing cyan and that means it's connected to cloud and it's ready to and it's ready to ha get any code you try to flash on it so you have to be in this particular stage to get started uh, so I'm assuming that you'll do all this and you'll get to the breathing cyan light and then we can use the cloud API the rest API for particle uh, to flash the firmware onto the microcontroller so next so once you have done that and once your particle core is connected or particle photon is connected to the cloud we'll open build.particle.io and you if if this is your first time sign up or sign in uh, so go and once you log in I'll sort of give you an intro to the API itself so this is what it looks like uh, when you log in for the first time so here you can create a new app you can remove existing apps uh, this this is where you see the code uh, so here are the settings where you can log out change password this is important because this button is basically your devices so it knows which of your devices are active so uh, this is the device which is active right now so it shows like the device is connected and when the star is clicked that means this device is selected to flash uh, so if this device has a star in front of it and if I press the flash button the code will be flashed to that device uh, this is to save the code this is to verify or compile the code and this is to flash the code uh, here you can find uh, the libraries documentation uh, and the code so here we are so what we'll do is uh, we'll create a new app we'll uh, call it say uh, vibration actuator tur and because this is a photon so I'll call it a photon so I'll do that and this creates our new app so what you have to do is in the code folder for the project there is a folder called code for particle core and photon 
so you have to make sure so there will be two different kinds of uh, firmware files one is for a photon uh, with button and one is with for a photon without the button so and also separate ones for core and photon so if you're using a particle core use this folder if you're using a particle photon use this folder since we are using a photon I'll use this button and now we are uh, flashing the firmware for a uh, vibration actuator without the button I'll open this code I'll simply do a control A control C so copy everything and select everything here and just paste here so that's pretty much it uh, you have copied the code now what you have to do is you have to go here on devices and you make sure you select the right uh, the right core or photon you want to flash and it, it shows here if the device is connected or not uh, and once that is done you just press the flash button and here it says flashing code and uh, your your particle photon or core should flash magenta for a while and it will start flashing green that means your code is successfully flashed onto the microcontroller uh, that's it. It's easy.